Good morning, world. Good morning. So, today you can see we got our hats on. Mine's on backwards, yes. This is going to be a Tom McDonald review, but not the normal review, as you saw by the title. Uh, we're going to kind of talk about his uh, trailer for when he dropped his albums. I know that was last week. Um, but it was so interesting, we wanted to do it, right? Right. Sounds and, good. And you guys wanted us to do it, and that's even more important. Coming up next, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian, and this is Cedric and Brian. As we said earlier, this isn't our normal review for a Tom McDonald song. Nope. In fact, if you saw his trailer, I think he's coming out as a thespian. That's thespian, not lesbian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a lesbian. <laughs> yeah, you are a lesbian. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's coming out, showing his acting chops now. So um, we're going to go over that and, you know, just kind of do our commentary because, you know, we're not a reaction channel. We <laughs> review things. Yes. But first, are you prepared? Because what's going on in the world right now, what Tom is going to talk about in this trailer is the uncertainty going on in the world today. Like Brian says, are you prepared? Do you have enough food, water, and other essentials to get you through tough times? If not, check out My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and they've served millions of American families just like yours. Right now, you can save 25% off their popular four-week emergency food kit, which will keep you well-fed for four weeks worth of breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. This food stays fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. In fact, you may need it a lot sooner than that. So don't wait. Go to www.preparewithcedricandbrian.com. So remember, that's www.preparewithcedricandbrian.com. Right up here. So please, order from that site, help us out, and uh, we'll give you more great reviews. Yes, All right? indeed. I'm kind of excited about this, this, uh, this trailer. I love trailers. Yep. All right, let's get right to it. State your age. 32. State your country of residence. United States of America. State your name. Tom McDonald. Under Section 4A of the Restrictions on Freedom Act. All right, so right off the bat, yes, I did want to stop it. Um, <laughs> we stop a lot. Yeah. So if you want to see the trailer uninterrupted, yeah, I will put the link in. Go there. to it. <laughs> yeah. Good trailer. <laughs> And uh, so we, we find out a couple of things right now. We find out how old Tom is. Yeah. I mean, if, we don't even have to Google it now. So he's uh, much younger than us. In fact, he's <laughs> closer to the age of uh, our daughters. Yeah. <laughs> um, we know he's Canadian, but he does live in the United States. And um, what he just said there, what the interrogation room said uh, about the restrictions. In fact, let's play that, that last part again. Under Section 4A of the Restrictions on Freedom Act, established by the International Police in February of 2022, you have been found to be in violation of several civil disobedience bylaws. Boom! Right there. Restrictions on Freedom Act. Um, so the whole thing is set up in an interrogation room. Yeah, I But like it's like that. an interrogation room in the future. Right. And he even says the date. It's the International Police of February of 2022. And that's... That's been our fear. I mean, we live, we're supposed to be living in the freest country. Right. But the left now wants more of a one world order, basically international police um, to control things, which is very scary because each country, if you look at Australia right now, they don't seem to have too many freedoms. Right. And, um, and then it says right here, it says the civ civil disobedience bylaws. What does that remind you of? Uh, George Orwell, 1984. But it also, more recently, January 5th arrests. Yeah. They are charging people, and some of them, I believe, are still locked up from yeah. January, basically for a insurrection, yes, which the, we joke around about. Yes, the insurrection on January 6th at yeah. the Capitol. So basically the uh, unarmed protest. Now, they did violate, and, we, and again, we're not, we're not going back and 
condoning that. But what we said, if you've watched us now for over a year, what we've covered on the the actual riots going on since the last summer, um, and Tom's bringing that he he brings this stuff up so good. He yeah. just brings it all together. That's good. I love the fact that he's. I love the fact that he's Canadian and he gets it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he, and like you said, he lives in the U.S. now. Yeah. Inciting public distrust of the government, solicitation of confidential information, anti-institutional rhetoric, unauthorized assembly of civilians with the purpose of protest, and amplifying social unrest. Amplifying social unrest. <laughs> Inciting violence. Yes. All right, man. That's so. This is what's been happening in many countries, and this is why he. I mean, he does this as a whole one world order, but with freedom of speech. And that's what's going on, and that's what he's highlighting here, is this robot, the one world government coming in and talking about f locking down freedom of speech. Right. And what we've talked about before, Black Lives Matter, yes. Antifa, the lockdowns, forced vaccinations, they only allow some civil unrest. Right. What's well, the, uh, the game we played at the end of the year? What's the difference between a, uh, a protest and a... Uh... Peaceful protest, peaceful and, a protest riot. and a riot. <laughs> Depends on which side of the political scale you're on. Yeah, because what's going on, it, and Antifa is still going on, they're still beating the crap out of people. What does the media do? They ignore that. But then you got people going out and they're, they're protesting against these forced vaccinations, which are horrible here, but they're much worse in places like Australia. Can't have that. That's, uh, that, that's a no-no. I um, love Tom's uh, the, the, the smirk, the snickers, yeah. kind of like... Are we really doing this? I know. Seriously? Awesome. You are a threat to world safety and therefore you are being charged by the international police for the aforementioned disobediences. He's a threat to world safety. What does that sound like? The coronavirus. The whole coronavirus. You know, if you don't get the jab, you are a threat to world safety. Yes. Now we know that's all bull. BS, I'll say. Yes. I know. We've got to get monetized. You didn't see my rant on TikTok. Right, right. right. Um, this bring, I mean, he's bringing up so many different things and, and putting in one. With me, it's the coronavirus thing is just what's driving me crazy because it's absolutely got rid of our freedom of speech. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and again, we've said this before. We've said it a hundred times. If they're that concerned about the coronavirus, our, the borders in Texas will be closed. And this past weekend was uh, Saturday was the opening of college football. You see those stadiums Full of people without wearing masks, they're not that serious about this. I know. And did you did you see the whole Joe Rogan thing? Yes, yes. <laughs> they they were mad that Joe Rogan got over it in three days. He's almost <laughs> he's Cedric's age actually. He's fifty four. You're fit, no, you're old. You're he's older than you, right? Fifty four. Oh, you're fifty four. So he, you know, he mentioned those naughty words that we can't mention. He said by day three, he said he felt effing awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so. How do you plead? You know what you call disobedience? You know what we used to call that? Freedom. Amen, Tom. Amen. The Berkeley people hmm. in the 60s were the advocates of free speech. Now if you go and speak in your conservative Berkeley, they shut you down. So, um, God, what a great sentence. What you call disobedience, we used to call freedom. And that's exactly right. Uh, we could stop this video right there. I mean, yeah. that, that's in a yeah. nutshell what this is. And we're not going to stop yeah. right there. Tom's because... great. I would love to reach out to him and ask him, okay, how much of this, this monologue that you're going through was scripted and how many, how much of it was just off the cuff of your head and you just said it? Yeah. I think a lot of it was just off the cuff yeah, of his head. Yeah, I think head. he just spits, man. He just, yeah. That's kind of his lane. And what you call inappropriate, I call necessary. And what you call lies and conspiracy and anti-institutional rhetoric, I call that the truth. You guys really think you run the world, huh? You think you can just bully everyone and cancel everything? You think you can just push us around so we all fall in line? <laughs> what a great thing. You think, but you know what? They can. You know why? We've been allowing it. COVID again, and I know I'm the COVID guy, I'll bring this up again. How many people that we know, and we talked about this yesterday, we were at the wine, wineries on Sunday, we're filming this on Monday. <laughs> That's why I'm a little tired. Yeah, They're saying that they're just gonna go ahead and get the jab because they don't wanna lose their jobs. 
So they are winning. They can push us around They because we're not fighting back. We don't fight back. And this COVID thing, you can say, well, it's for public safety. Like Cedric just said, it's not about public safety. You got to fight this, especially all the people that have already had coronavirus, COVID. They recovered and now it's shown that they have better immunity, yet they still are requiring you to get the shot. This is just, they're just seeing how many sheep there are out there. It was sad with the whole Joe Rogan thing that you just brought up. Sad, there were people who would have been, they would have been more happy if Joe Rogan had met his demise. Exactly. Exactly. And all of the mainstream media were yeah. saying they can't just go look up headlines about Joe Rogan and, and COVID. And they just bashed him. He healed from it. Now, he probably would have healed anyways. He's a pretty healthy guy. Healthy guy. And if you look at the statistics, he's had a 99.9 whatever chance of survival. But the fact that he used those measures and those drugs that have shown to be safe, why are people giving him a hard time? Eats clean, works out. I know. Social interaction, vitamin D, gets in nature. Yeah. All things we should be doing anyway, but the government doesn't want to push that. I know. But it's because he mentioned the I word. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the horse uh, warmer. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've been fighting for the world for a long time for the losers and the rejects and the outcasts and the forgotten, for the abused and the unwell and the disenfranchised. Calm down, Mr. McDonald. No, I've been fighting for our freedoms and our safety and our survival and the way that we remember the world used to be. I've been fighting for the world. Sit down. No, I'm not gonna sit down. I won't shut up. I will not quit. I will not back off. I won't let you destroy everything that people have spent their lives trying to build. Boom again. I almost said amen. I thought we were in church there for a second. Speak on it, Tom. Speak on it. I won't let you destroy everything that people have spent their lives trying to build. Again, you can go back to all of the stuff. Insurrection, everything. But I'm going to go back to COVID again. People spent their lives building their businesses. And the government just came in and said, nope, you're shut down. And now they can't even hire people back because the government's going to pay people to stay home. Right. And, and again, COVID cancel culture. You know, people that are on there that just give their opinion. Right. Canceled. Yeah. Can't, you can't have another opinion other than the one world order that Tom is bringing up here. Yeah. Um, I actually had a friend of mine. We were having a discussion because she has some left-leaning views. And she was actually shocked when I told her that some of our videos get taken down. She's like, what? She clutched her pearls. I can kind of see her doing it. She goes, <laughs> your videos get taken down. I said, yeah. I said, it's not hate speech. It's just speech that other people love to hate. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, check our shirts out. I know you're snickering at his right now. <laughs> it's the bullet. <laughs> <laughs>